All right, guys, right here in the middle of wanting to put this chrome tip on this mower. I just, with that saws all right there, went over to an old engine I had that I blew up. You can check that video out. And saws all that off because I have to get a little... I'll show you how this is going to work. This muffler right here is going to come through here just like that. But I got to get a little piece to go from there to there and cut that off too. And probably take and tack it down there. Yep, so I got to get a piece of pipe out of that. I make sure it's like five inches and so then we'll go ahead and cut like five inches out of that pipe then we'll start welding all right we're not working on the exhaust actually i were working on a uh, snorkel or cold air air intake here intake all i've done so far is drill this hole and i'll show you the parts i'll be using to build it real cheap and easy maybe even free all right so i got this uh radiator hose off of a uh off my s10 so i'm here it says gm on here somewhere and white well, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's just GM. But anyway, that that's free, just scraps. I guess I did have to buy a new one if you uh, when I put the new motor in, if you want to see that video. If I remember when I'm editing this, I'll drop a link in the description if you want to see that video. And also, all I needed was this right here. So then take this, the hose here. We're going to take and slide it on this pipe here. Put the hose clamp on. Run it through here. Then we'll take and... Um, this will be through here like that, and we'll take and pop our air filter on. Let's go and do that. That's how she's looking. Got the filter just shoved. It actually, the hose fits inside the filter. Just got run down to here. Got the... Hose clamp on there. It just runs through, so we're about to crank it up. Let's see how she sounds. Let's see how it runs. Remember, if you do this to your mower and you don't keep it under shelter, make sure you keep like a bag over the filter so you don't fill up with water and water get down to the pipe and then you crank it up, it sucks that water in. That's defeating the purpose. That's why you got the snorkel there. But yeah, definitely probably also works the cold air intake because you can see instead of getting that cold air from the engine right there, it's thinking off the flywheel, it's actually sucking it up here so it's probably much cooler. And um, I like the way it looks. And this is uh, I'm not really going to be testing it, taking it deep. This is more just a... Uh, for safety because you know I'm bad about running in deep water on accident um, River Road should go check that out we almost sunk this one the uh, luckily it was on incline but this cup holder right here was underwater the water came over the cup holder you see how high that is but luckily if it came over this side my gas had been destroyed we had to call it a day also think about taking this as a piece of extra exhaust off my s10 4.3 and I'm about to see if I can tack weld that onto there and have like a little, like a diesel pipe, diesel tip. Might put a whole trash can on there, I don't know. Alright, got the exhaust on, the snorkel slash cold air intake, and we even have a gas pedal, so we're going to fire it up so it sounds like put the hood back on.
All right, got the exhaust on, the snorkel slash cold air intake, and we even have a gas pedal. So we're gonna fire it up so it sounds like. Put the hood back on.